everyone! So in this week's video, I'm going to challenge myself to sell all the clothes that I no longer wear. In a recent video, I reorganized my closet and I was able to get rid of a lot of clothes. Most of them I dropped off at my local thrift store, but a lot of them, like all of these right here, I think are too nice for the thrift store. And when I tried to drop them off and sell them at my local consignment store, they actually didn't take any of them. I think they're becoming way too picky. So I'm going to try to sell them on my own. I have no idea how this is gonna go and if I'm even going to be able to sell anything at all. So if you want to find out how many clothes I was able to sell, how much money I was able to make, also which platform I had the most success with, make sure to stick around and watch all the way through the end. I'm Sabrina and I'm the creator of L'Atelier Coworking and The Focus Journal. For inspiring content and tips from a tidy working mom, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified on upcoming videos. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through the bags and determine which clothes I still want to sell and which ones I might want to keep or donate because I haven't taken a look in a while. After that, I'm going to be taking a lot of photos of the clothes I do want to sell and then I'm going to be coming up with the pricing by comparing similar items online. Finally, I'm going to be uploading and creating listings on different platforms and then I will wait and see what happens. If I'm not able to sell anything for a while, my backup will be to lower the price down until eventually something does sell or all of them are sold. So let's see how this goes. Again, so I have a little update for you. I finished creating all my listings on Sunday and I made my first sale yesterday, which was Tuesday, and I made 20 bucks. <laughs> so 20 bucks is not a lot, but I'm so happy that I made the first sale. Basically, I started with three platforms. I started listing on Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, and one called Depop. I had never used Depop before. I definitely have sold on Facebook Marketplace and Poshmark in the past. And so I knew what to expect with those platforms. But Depop, I actually did not like it at all. First of all, uh, apparently it has a much smaller audience than both Poshmark or Facebook Marketplace. And it also has a much younger audience. So more like teenagers are interested in that app. And it was also very difficult to get my listings seen on the platform. Uh, in comparison, I remember when I created my Poshmark account, it was very easy to get followers and likes and people are constantly active on that platform, sharing listings and liking them and following you. Poshmark also has Poshmark parties that you can join to get even more exposure. Whereas Depop, I just 
listed things on there and I didn't know what to do with it. No one was really looking at my listings or following me or liking my listings. I quickly, you know, eliminated that platform and decided to focus on just Poshmark and Facebook Marketplace. So my first sale actually came through Facebook Marketplace even though it could have easily come through Poshmark because I got a lot of interest for that same item on Poshmark as well. And the item I sold first is the Babaton slash Aritzia black bodysuit. That was actually the item that got the most attention on both platforms. And I think it's because Aritzia is a very popular brand in Canada. So Babaton is one of the Aritzia brands. And it's very easy to sell Aritzia items secondhand. When I was looking at buy and sell groups on Facebook to share my items, I noticed that there was one group that was dedicated to just Aritzia items. So that is one thing you can keep in mind when buying new clothes, is to ask yourself what is popular in your area in terms of brands. That way you can easily resell them if you want to. So yes, this was my first sale update. It was the bodysuit and it was on Facebook Marketplace. I could have gotten more out of it, but the person who bought it actually negotiated the price down and I quickly accepted because I just wanted to make a sale. Right after I accepted her offer, I actually got a couple more people on Facebook Marketplace interested in buying the item at the full listed price. So you live and you learn. The reason why I accepted the lower price for this item on Facebook Marketplace is because I also received an offer for a much lower price on another item on Poshmark that I did not accept and I regretted not accepting. So yeah, that was the first update for the first item I sold on Facebook Marketplace and I'm hoping to have another update for you very soon. Much, much, much later. Hi everyone, so it has been a month since I listed my clothes on different platforms and I have another update for you. So since I have sold the bodysuit on Facebook Marketplace, I have sold two more items on Poshmark this time. The timeline has been a bit longer than I thought and the sales the results very disappointing but I am hoping that I will give you a very realistic view of what it's really like to be selling your clothes online. So after I sold the bodysuit on Facebook marketplace nothing happened for a long time over a week but I was doing different things to promote the listings on the different platforms so on Facebook marketplace and on Poshmark I listed some items as bundles because I thought people would be more likely to buy bundles than just individual items. And I also attended a few Poshmark parties and was sharing people's listings so that people would share my listings in return. And then about two weeks after I sold the first item, I sold my second item, but it was a very disappointing sale because I only made 89 cents from it, even though the person paid almost $20 in total for it. So basically that item was the striped blue and white sweater. I had originally listed it for about $15 and someone had liked the item. And on Poshmark, when someone likes your item, you can make a private offer to them. But the thing is that Poshmark forces you to offer a certain amount of discount to make it worth it for the person. So basically I offered the item at $9 and I also had to make an offer on the shipping cost. So since I had to cover some of the shipping costs and there was a Poshmark fee, I basically only made $89 cents from that sale so yeah after that sale I was super discouraged but then yesterday I made my third sale and that was a week after my second sale and I sold this set of three Victoria's Secret sports bras that was the advantage of listing them as a bundle so this set of three sports bras I had originally listed for $38 and then out of the blue someone made an offer for them for $30 and I immediately accepted it. And from those $30, I earned $23.70 because there was a Poshmark fee of $6. Uh, but this time the person paid for the shipping in full, which is really nice um, because I didn't have to cover any of the shipping costs. So overall, when selling on Poshmark, you should keep a couple of things in mind. First of all, people are going to bargain down your price. So put a price that is a bit more than you want to get in the end. 
and also people are going to have to pay a lot for shipping so take that into consideration when pricing your items I don't know what it's like in the US but in Canada shipping is pretty expensive so sometimes when the item is cheap it might just not be worth it for them to pay for shipping as well so I am going to end this video right here instead of waiting who knows how long to sell more items because uh, I just need to end this video and be done with it already But if you're interested in any of the items that I'm selling I am going to link my Poshmark shop link in the description below So make sure to check it out And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up And check out my other ones I will see you in the next one